I'm NASA Kennedy's Ana Arvela Serrano, and I'm outside KSC taking you inside KSC. NASA's mobile launcher is on the move again. The structure that will carry the Space Launch System, or SLS, and Orion spacecraft for Artemis 1 traveled to Kennedy Space Center's Launch Pad 39B. Sitting atop Crawler Transporter 2, the mobile launcher rolled out from the Florida Spaceport's Vehicle Assembly Building and made the slow trek to the pad on October 20. During the mobile launcher's two-week stay at the pad, engineers will perform several tasks, including a timing test to validate the launch team's countdown timeline. Under the Artemis program, NASA will land the first woman and the next man on the moon in 2024. A project managed right here at the Kennedy Space Center is getting a big boost. NASA has awarded Intuitive Machines approximately $47 million to deliver a drill combined with a mass spectrometer to the moon by December 22 under NASA's Commercial Lunar Payload Services Initiative. The delivery of the Polar Resources Ice Mining Experiment, known as Prime 1, will be the first in situ resource utilization demonstration on the moon. Prime 1 will drill up to 3 feet below the surface and, for the first time, harvest ice from below the surface. Prime 1's data will contribute to the agency's search for water at the moon's south pole. This is the fifth CLPS award for landing on the moon. For more Inside KSC, check us out on social media and on nasa.gov slash kennedy.